हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ वर्कशीट फाइव इन दिस केस देयर इज गिवन फैक्टराइजेशन बाय टेकिंग आउट अ कॉमन फैक्टर दैट इज एच सी एफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज गिवन अ बाइनोमेल विच हैव टू टर्म्स थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर बाय माइनस सिक्स एक्स बाय स्क्वायर नो वी हैव टू फाइंड द एच सी एफ इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द एच सी एफ ऑफ द गिवन टर्म्स और मोनोमेल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज वन एग्जाम्पल इज देर इन दिस केस ए स्क्वायर इंटू बी स्क्वायर एंड ए क्यूब ए स्क्वायर इंटू बी क्यूब एंड ए क्यूब इंटू बी स्क्वायर तो इन दिस केस द हाइएस्ट कॉमन पार ऑफ ए हाइएस्ट कॉमन पार ऑफ ए इन दीज टू टर्म्स मीन्स इन ए स्क्वायर एंड ए क्यूब इज देयर ए स्क्वायर सिमिलरली द हाइएस्ट कॉमन पार ऑफ बी इन बी क्यूब एंड बी स्क्वायर बी क्यूब एंड बी स्क्वायर इज देयर बी रेज टू आर टी टू बी रेज टू आर टू मीन्स बी स्क्वायर इज कॉमन इन दिस एंड इन दिस ऑल्सो देयर फॉर द एच सी एफ ऑफ दिस मोनोमेल्स ए स्क्वायर बी क्यूब एंड ए क्यूब बी स्क्वायर इज ए स्क्वायर एंड बी स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर तो दिस इज द एच सी एफ हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर बिटवीन दीज टू टर्म तो सिमिलरली वी हैव टू फाइंड द एच सी एफ ऑफ दीज टू टर्म्स दैट इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर बाय एंड सिक्स एक्स बाय स्क्वायर द एच सी एफ ऑफ दीज टू टर्म इज देर दीज आर द कॉफिशेंट थ्री एंड सिक्स दीज आर द कॉफिशेंट तो इन दिस केस The highest common factor is there three, three, and then the common factor of x square and x is there x, and similarly the common factor of y and y square it is y. So it means highest common factor between three x square y and six x y square is there three x y. Now the next step is there making these terms, these two terms, as the product of factors in which one factor is there H C F. means this 3x by is one of the uh, factor of these two terms as 3x square by minus 6x by square we can write it as such the product of two factors that is 3x by that is the hcf into x minus minus sign as it is uh, 3x by into 2 by when we multiply these two to we get 6x by square and similarly when we multiply these two to we get 3x square by So it means 3x by is the HCF, and it is the highest common factor in this term as well as in this term. So when we will take this common, so we will get here x as it is, then minus sign and 2 by, and this common term outside of this in the form of multiplication. Uh, so this algebraic expression we have converted it into the product of two factors, that is 3x by into x. Minus two by, therefore three x by and x minus two by are the two factors of the given algebraic expressions. In this way, we have to solve the question number three. Question number three of this uh, exercise worksheet five is there. Find the HCF of the term and then factorize these. So there is given an algebraic expression that is five by minus fifteen by square. So in this case. Firstly, we will find the HCF of these two terms. The HCF of these two terms mean, means five by and fifteen by square is equal to five by, because HCF of constant term that is five and sorry coefficients uh, five and fifteen is there five, and highest common power of by, highest common power of um, by in these two term is there by, so the HCF becomes five by. no making the this term as the product of two factors but in these two factors one one factor should be their hcf as 5 by minus 15 by square we can write it as such 5 by 5 by is the hcf so no factor is there the one is always there so we will write there 5 by into 1 minus 5 by into 3 by so that their product is equal to 15 by square and its product is equal to 5 by no this hcf is common in these two term this is the first term and this is the second term hcf is common so we can take it 
out so what we left what we get here 1 as it is then minus sign and 3 by so 5 by into 1 minus 3 by it is the factorized form means product form of this algebraic expression which is a binomial so 5 by and 1 minus 3 by are the two factors of the given algebraic expression and given algebraic expression is there 5 by minus 15 by square so in this way we have to factorize now the this form is known as the product form that is the factorized form of the given algebraic expression 5 by minus 15 by square now the next part we are doing which is same as it is in this again a binomial is given and this binomial is there this binomial is there 16 m minus 4 m square so in this case firstly we find the hcf of these coefficients means numerical coefficient the hcf of the numerical coefficient 16 and 4 is there 4 highest common factor and then highest common factor of sorry power of m highest common power of m in m and m square m is there this one and m square is this one is m m means m is the common in these two uh, term of m that is m is the common therefore hcf becomes the product of the coefficient hcf of coefficient and the highest power of m which is common in these two term so 4 into m that is equal to 4 m so it is hcf now we have next step is the very important step in this case we have to make the product of two factors of each term uh, in such a way that one factor should be their hcf that is 4m so there is given 16m minus 4m square we have to write their factors product of two factors as one is their hcf so hcf means 4m 4m multiplied by 4 so that we get 16m so it means 4m into 4 it is the uh, product of two factors of this term again product of the uh, two factors of uh, this term 4m square is there 4m that is the hcf into m now we are looking here this is the common factor it is the common factor between these two terms 1 and 2 these are the two terms when we take it out we get 4 as it is then minus sign and then m so it is 4m into 4 minus m so it is the factorized form of this algebraic expression there are two terms but there is only single term so it is the product of these factors so 4m and 4 minus m are the factors of the given algebraic expression now the next part is same as it is in this part uh, there is given 8x raised to power 3 by square plus 8x raised to power 3 so in this case coefficient is same therefore the hcf of these coefficients is also equal to 8 that is same now the variable are there x and by but in this case x is there now the highest common power highest common power of x in this term and in this term is there x raised to power 3 and x raised to power 3 that is same means highest common power of x is there x raised to power 3 next one is there by by is there in this term but in not in this term so in this case highest power of by in by square and there is not by means by one is there the so by square and one the so highest common power of by in these two means which one is the highest common factor the so one is always the factor of each and every alphabet as well as number so it means one this one and this one is common in these two term the so one is the highest common factor now hcf of these two term now this term and this term is equal to 8 into x cube into 1 8 x cube into 1 that is 8 x cube now we have to make the factors of each term uh, in this algebraic expression this term and this term the one factor should be the hcf that is 8 x raised to power 3 now we will write the product of two factors of this term that is 8 x cube that is the hcf into by square so that we, we multiply these two, we get 8x raised to power 3 by square plus 8x cube into by. So in this case, 
no factor and extra factor is there so we will write there one because one is always there and now in the next step but we are doing we will take common the highest common factor between these two term in product form there is only one term this is one term this is one term that means two terms are there and which one is common 8x cube 8x cube we will take common so what we will get y square plus 1 so by 8x cube into y square plus 1 this this is the factorized form of this algebraic expression now the next parts are there fourth part is there there is given 20x raised to power 3 minus 40x square plus 80x the highest co uh, sorry coefficient uh, hcf of the coefficients of uh, coefficients is there uh, coefficients are there 20 40 and 80 is there 20 that is the highest common factor uh, between these coefficients now highest common power highest common power of x in uh, these terms x raised to power 3 x raised to power 2 and x x raised to power 3 x raised to power 2 x uh, is my highest common power con hai x therefore hcf of these two terms these three terms is there 20 into x 20 that is the coefficients and x is the highest common power of x between these terms so therefore hcf is equal to 20x now we have to make the factors two fact product of two factors of this term this term and this term but one factor should be there hcf 20x into x square so that it becomes 20x raised to power 3 next 20x into 2x that is equal to 40x square and then 20x into 4 that is equal to 24x so 20x we will take common so what is left inside x square minus sign then 2x plus sign 4 this is the factorized form of the given algebraic expression and the next part is there x raised to power 4 by minus 3x square by square minus 6x by raised to power 3 the hcf of the coefficients coefficient of this term is there 1 1 3 6 is there 1 because 1 is the highest common factor of all these uh, terms sorry these coefficients now the highest common power of x in all these terms so in this case there is no x but in this case x sorry there is x raised to power 4 is the term and it there is x square and there is x the highest common power of x is there x because x is there one time but there is two time and there is four time but at least one time is there the highest common factor is there x in all these terms now the highest common power of uh, by is there in first term is there by by square and by cube that is by by is there in all these three so therefore hcf becomes 1 into x into y that is x x into y now we have to make uh, all these terms as the product of two factors in which one factor is there hcf so x into y that is the hcf into x raised to power 3 so that we get x raised to power 4 into y similarly x by into 3x by and x by into 6x by 6 by square so what we will get when we multiply this we get this term again we multiply this so we get this term now the x by is common that is the highest common factor between these two so we will take it out so we will get x cube minus sign 3x by minus 6 by square so this is the factorized form so the, uh, it is the product form means factor form factorized form of this given algebraic expression the last part is there it is similar as it is again we have to find the hc of these three terms and after this we have to factorize this the hcf we have done in question number two also so it is a simple way the hcf of these all these term is there 8x by only 8x by is there so we have to make the each factor of these terms 8x by that is hcf into x by so that we get this number is there the product of two factor is there 8x by into x by next one 8x by into 2 by square so that we get there 16x by raised to power 3 next 8x by into 3 so that we get 24x by now 8x by is common in all these terms so we will get inside 
x by minus 2 by square plus 3. So this is a factorized form of this number. Uh, hope you all are understood this. It's very important concept related to factorization of algebraic expression. Uh, thank you everyone. Have a nice day.